Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and today we will see a couple of more modifiers. So we are already in the CADCAM environment, uh, here in the main menu. We have already selected um, modify. So here we have all the functions available. And today we will see how to scale a geometry and how to mirror it. So I already draw a, something like a half of a moon. And uh, let's say we want to scale it. So we want basically to change size a bit. We can select the geometry, go and use the scale function. At this point, you can select which one is your reference point for the scale. So I'm going to select the base and here when you move your cursor, you can see, you know, that I'm changing basically the size. So you can even, uh, you know, uh, click uh, whenever you want in order to uh, change the scale. Otherwise, as you can see, if you want uh, for this geometry to be twice as big as it was before, you can just come here, type 2, or if you want half of it, you can type in 0 0.5 and it will be half. And uh, remember that you have always the possibility to enable the copy. So if you want to leave the original as it is right now, you can enable the copy and when you confirm, you will create two of them. Let me say one more thing about the scale. Um, let's say that I want to check how tall the, this uh, half moon is. So let me go check and measure it really quick. So it is right now 314 millimeters point 604. Let's say we want this uh, uh, half moon to be 500 millimeter tall. How do we do that with, with the scale? We can select, go back in modify, select the scale. So we select the reference point for the scale. And at this point, uh, in the scale factor, I can specify what uh, I want. So the dimension I want to get divided by what I have now. Confirm. As you can see, uh, the enable copy was enabled, so it created a second geometry. Now, if we want to go measure it, as you can see, it's exact. 500. Now let's go to see the mirror function with the same using the same geometry. So again, select always the geometry first. Then you go here, mirror. And it's gonna ask always a reference. So it is really depending on what you are doing. You can select the reference point. It can be this one, the base. Or it can be something like here. Now, ortho is enabled. So as you can see, is moving my moon is moving, you know, every 45 degree. And I can stop where I want. Also in this case, the uh, enable copy was enabled, so it created the second one. Otherwise, you can remove it and just have the mirrored image. So let's say we want to create, in our case, like something like a coffee bean. I'm going to leave 
the copy on and voila so we have seen uh, what was in schedule for today in the next video we will see offset and join thank you for watching and stay tuned